Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna be getting ready with me as we get ready for the Iron Maiden concert. And we're gonna go over my likes and maybe some of my not so much likes uh, as we go along. So let's get right on in. <laughs> Have you guys tried this at all? I got sent this for, from Influencer. And this, this is basically, if you love the holidays and you wanna smell like a body odored pumpkin pie, this is it for you. Like this is disgusting, I hate this product. It smells great, it's a great concept. Don't wear this hiking because you will smell like body odored pumpkin pie. All right, this is a ride or die product for me. This is the Holy Frog, it is their SPF mineral sunscreen now it does come out looking like it's tinted however it's not because instead of it being fall in vegas it is currently 100 degrees here so i definitely love i love 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 the sunscreen it just goes in so nice it feels nice it's not overly perfumed i'll have to figure out how much this is and put it down in my description box but i absolutely love this another product that I've been loving lately is the Tear Tear, the Milk Skin Toner. And as you can see, I've definitely been loving it. However, didn't use it on my skin today just because I put just some serum on and I don't know, I think because I had it here in the beauty room, I didn't use it, so. But I'm definitely loving this. It's definitely helped hydrate my skin and make it feel smooth, plump, all the good stuff. Uh, but this is an empty, an empty jar that I will be reordering because it's such an amazing mask it really does work it's great what it does is you put it on your skin you pump it up it has a really interesting pump it comes out this color here but then you rub it in and it turns white and it kind of warms up a little bit but it definitely does what it says it does it is a glow facial so i don't know i'll have to look up and tell you guys what it does but it does whatever it does my skin always feels so great afterwards but i'm definitely going to be repurchasing that one and then here's another one that i really like you guys this is the pharmacy the pharmacy honey potion mask and you put this one on and it warms up as well and you rub it in until it gets nice and white as you can see i was scraping the bottom of this and it's such a cute little glass product that i'm going to take the label off and I'm actually gonna use this. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna find a use for this because I really like it. I will be repurchasing. All right, I put this, this body butter is definitely one of my favorites. It is from European Wax Center. It smells so good. This is probably my fourth jar from them and I absolutely love it. The scent is really light, but it's really thick. So it really locks in the moisture. I'm obsessed with this. And for 6.7 fluid ounces, I think it's like under $20. But this guys, this is like, I love it. Especially living in the desert. Living in the desert, you need something good for your skin. Let's zoom on in. And you know what we're gonna go in with. Tried and true, favorite here. P. Louise Rumor Base in the shade Rumor 0.5. And I've used so much of this stuff and I still have plenty of it left. I don't know, it's just. So we put it on with a nice Nice little flat brush. You know, put it on with a nice little flat brush there. So this look. I did get my eyebrows laminated and tinted because I just need some help. My hairs were way too light, so. Do you guys wanna hear some of my horror dating stories that I've had recently? Uh, Cause I went speed dating, you guys. Speed dating is very interesting, to say the least. Especially out here in Vegas, it is wild. You guys let me know if you wanna hear it, cause there was one guy that was there at the speed dating, um, married still. And I was like, then why are you here? It's literally called speed dating, not speed friendship, bro. And he's like, well, you know, I just, I really, you know, just need to get out of the house. And you know, I'm not gonna divorce her unless she wants to divorce and then I'll give it to her. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense whatsoever. But sure, please like come to a dating event while you're still married. Then another guy wouldn't stop talking about his his ex-wife. Then another guy told me about how he got dual citizenship during COVID so that he could travel and not have to deal with the like, immigration so he could just travel. I'm like, cool, you're a, a cool human being. We're in a pandemic and you're just like, oh, do what I want. All right, we're gonna use the Conspiracy Palette by Jeffree Star. Look at these colors, guys. Look at them. I'm gonna set it with the shade My Pills right there because you know we have to 
upset what we do. Have you guys ever tried speed dating? Am I the only one out here that's doing it? Cause it is wild. And I, I went because I thought, you know, maybe it would be a great way to meet people, you know, and get out there and, and date again. And boy, I was wrong. Boy, I was wrong. It's very interesting in 2024 to be dating. I don't know what it is. And it's not just for women. I've heard my guy friends say some really weird stories. Like my really good friend, Jordan, he really hit it off with this girl. And she told him straight up that she could not date him because he's such a nice guy and she needs to heal herself more. And I'm like, that's basically her telling you, Jordan, that he, that, or that she wants to go date an a-hole and you're too good for her. Like, or I don't know. It just is so weird to me dating. So it's not like it's just us females out here with a hard time. It is literally all of us that is trying to date in 2024. So I I'm not gonna be doing speed dating again. And actually I, after a few chats with some guys, one leading into a date, one date canceling at the last minute. And in my opinion, he's a, he's a little flake. And what's funny is a lot of these guys that have daughters, it's like, bro, what are you doing? Do you really, would you want your daughter to be treated like this? Then don't treat another woman like this. If you're not interested, just say it, but don't cancel two hours before claiming some BS. Like, dude, I'm not stupid. So dating is wild in 2024. I'm excited. Is anybody else going to the concert tonight? Cause I would love it if you guys are there. I'd love to see you guys. You guys see the dogs back there? <laughs> They're looking so cute, all well rested and everything. You know what we need to do? They always talk about this being used as like um, a setting spray or something, but I wonder if it would be for a primer. I don't think I'm gonna risk it, but I absolutely love this product though. If I wasn't going out to a concert, I think maybe I would try this and put this on, but this is definitely my favorite. I put it on, put it on after the milk toner and before sunscreen. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I absolutely love this product here. All right, now that, that is set. So we're gonna go in, fill in some of these gaps with the NYX. It's just a little brow pencil, a little micro one. Little tiny little baby. What are you guys up to today? What are you guys doing? It's a beautiful Saturday here. It is hot. It is definitely not fall. Not fall here, at least in Vegas. But it's funny because everybody always complains like, oh, it's so hot. When is it going to cool off? And it's like, it cools off here right after Halloween. The temperature drops so drastically right after Halloween. It's almost like it's all the cops and it's like, Shh. And then, oh, thank you for the love. That means so much to me. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it definitely is like, it's all the cops. And it just, you know, it just cools down. Because right now, today, it is 100 degrees. So, but yeah, everywhere else gets to have a fun fall right now where you get to do pumpkin things and hay rides and apple ciders and warm, cozy things. And, and in Vegas, um, still pool season, technically. So this is definitely one of my favorite eyebrow products for sure. So now for this, because it is a metal concert. So we're gonna go all out. We're gonna use a nice fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with the shade Diet Root Beer. So Diet Root Beer, guys, that's what we're gonna go in with. Get that super fluffy brush from Packer. I had a little girls night last night. It was so much fun. We just chatted and hung out and had snacks. It was the best. So because I have hooded eyes, I take it above my crease so that way my eye look does not get lost in that hood of mine. Now, these Morphe brushes are some of my absolute favorite brushes. They are my ride or die, and especially the Jeffrey ones because they're just these cute little pink ones. And I know I should have used shadow shields, but I don't know what I did with them. And I don't really feel like digging for them. Have you guys been watching Secret Lives of Mormon Wives at all? Have you guys been keeping up with that train wreck? This is another ride or die product for me. This is the Sephora, it is the color switch. So you just take your brush, rub it in here like this, and it takes off the product, even though there might still be some color left on it. It's not gonna come off and mess up your eye. We're gonna go in with another fluffy brush. It's just a little bit more dense. We're gonna go in with the shade, not a fact, which is more of a purpley. A purpley shade. So I've not watched The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. I've not watched it. I'm not super interested in watching it right now. It's just, it's not my thing because I feel like it's really blasphemous 
for me. Uh, I am a member of the Mormon church and I just, I don't know, I don't think that they should be using that except they're obviously using it for clickbait, I think. So I'm not really interested and I'll probably watch it after it all dies down so I'm not giving them any clout. But apparently, I guess allegedly, they're gonna be back for a season two. Hmm, no thanks. I'm good. I'm good if I never watch it until later. Like if I'm really bored and there's nothing else going on, then maybe I'll watch it. But I'm just, personally, it's just not my thing. I'm not interested in it. I think I just want a little bit more on this side. Just pack it in right there. What are some shows that you guys are watching right now that you're obsessed with? I think I'm, we're gonna go in next with the Blood Sugar palette. I'll just show you guys these beautiful colors. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Root Canal right here. And we're just gonna use that same brush that we were using, but bring it down just a little bit more. I don't know if it's coming off though. No, oh, there it is. Like, I didn't think that it was coming off much. Hi guys, welcome in. I'm gonna go in with this brush, but I'm gonna do root canal some more because I just, I wanna get more of that really pretty purple. I just wasn't getting a good payout with the color with that other brush, I don't think. I really like intravenous and I kind of want to dust intravenous with like the big fluffy brush. Just dab it on just a little just to darken it up a little bit more but i'm obsessed with this color intravenous it's just such a beautiful color what do you guys think i'm gonna go in with ranch from the conspiracy palette so it's like this really pretty shimmery white color just pop a little bit of that under the brow bone yeah i like that okay I'm still obsessed with intervenous color. We're going to put down, and this is um, a favorite of mine, and this is my all-time ride or die when it comes to putting down glitter or any kind of shimmer. So I need my mirror. Where's my little mirror? Maybe I don't. Just put a little bit down on here. So I definitely, for some reason, this just helps keep shimmer colors and glitter. It just keeps them in the slot where you put it, where you want it. Now I'm gonna go in with sleep paralysis. This is sleep paralysis. And you're just going to kind of pack it and it will stick exactly where you put because I don't want it too much on the in, inner corner here. It just will drop a little bit there, but not put any of that glitter or primer. So now same thing on the other side. And see, so you only need very little of this, which I like because it's inexpensive product and it's inexpensive and it lasts. In this economy, you know, we need the inexpensive stuff and we need stuff to last. All right. So same thing, just push that in and drag it to the inner corner there. So now for some reason, baby wipes really, really help. I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and just kind of blend this all together so it just doesn't look, it doesn't look funky. I'm gonna probably do just a little bit more, not a fab, just like Bob Ross used to say, there's no mistakes. And then of course, just a little dab of intervenous. But these palettes are definitely part of my ride or die faux show. Okay, so now we're gonna put down the base down here because we want a little more staying power tonight. Oh, it was probably too much. So you don't need a lot of this product. Then there was another guy that I went on a date with and I actually go to church with his parents and he seemed like a nice guy, older, seemed like he had his life together a little bit, but he was definitely like, he could get really angry really quick out of nowhere or nothing too. So dating is so much fun guys, highly recommend it. All right, we're gonna go and do diet root beer first, just to kind of pack this in. We're gonna do sleep paralysis again, but we're gonna put it this time move it a little bit in like that this is another ride or die product for me garnier it is great at taking product off fixing mistakes correcting things gosh i remember this time last year i spent like three thousand dollars on a friggin ticket for a three-day event for the x and i to go to power trip festival and if you remember my videos from this time last year but yeah i spent a lot of money for us to go and then these tickets supposed to go with him for the this concert but obviously we broke up and he's a jerk so um, i'm going with one of my friends so yeah that's how the cookie crumbles on that one so i'm gonna use one of my ride or die eye creams i wish i could tell you what i think this is the brand we're just gonna put a little bit because we definitely want the under eye moisturize and we're gonna use this to take off just like that but it's still moisturized so we're just gonna we put that eye cream so we have somewhat of a nice wing we're gonna use of course the farsali rose gold skin mist 
see if we can do a wing today. What do we think, everybody? What do we think? Let's get up close and personal. And get a good base going here. So I'm just gonna stamp it across the lash line here. angled brush and some micellar water. I'm actually gonna put that in the top of this little tin here so I can get it out. I guess because I didn't shake it? I don't know. A little weirded out. Why like, I don't know. Watch me do it on the other side and it'd be like complete crap because that's always my luck. Always my luck. So we'll do the same thing where we just stamp it down. I don't know. They always look like so different. Like this one is like lifted and this one's just like bleh. You guys are gonna have to give me some tips in the comments. There we go, I think that's better. Okay, I think I did it. I'm gonna go off camera and fix it a little bit. I think crisis averted. So I definitely do love this right here. This is the NYX. This is Epic Ink Liner in Black, and it's supposed to be waterproof. We shall see how waterproofy this is. We're also going to use the Wayne Goss Essential Eye Coal Pencil in the shade Precious Opal. I'm just kind of put it in a waterline here. I think we're going to try out the tier tier for this. This is another foundation that I've actually been really liking lately now that I know how to use it. Like, look at that coverage. Kind of getting those nose folds. And see if I can fix some of that black underneath there. So I'm excited to go to this concert because it's another thing that, you know, I used to do, you know, I went to the last concert of Iron Maiden with my ex. So it's really nice to be able to create new memories with the same band as somebody else that's not my ex. It actually feels really nice. Make sure that I got it all in my crevices. We're gonna go in with the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. Get a nice little puff here. I'm gonna tap it in here. I definitely wanna get it in my little nose fold there. I'm really getting the little nose fold. I really want to make sure that that is done. Okay, so now this is definitely another product that I absolutely love. This is the Butter Melt Bronzer from NYX. This is in the shade Deserve Butter. We're gonna use this little one for down the nose. Gus is just like knocking me. I'm gonna use a nice little fluffy Wayne Goss brush. darker blush, I think. All right. This is the P. Louise blush palette. We're gonna go in with a shade like this. All right, guys, this is post-editing Bex. And somehow my camera got changed to the wrong mode. So let's just speed through this section. And I am sorry, <laughs> there's no sound. And yeah. <laughs> we can all laugh about this later that I had a blonde moment. <laughs> Thanks, guys. the dog goes in the back. Oh, that went flying. Well, let's figure out what that is. So I'm going to set this with the shade. Oh, Asha, hi, gorgeous. Congratulations on your promotion, everybody. Congratulate Asha, she got promoted. She got promoted. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh. Are you not getting comfortable? Do you want to say hi to everybody? Oh, say hi to everybody. Oh.